Yes, another video from the International Building Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. And what I've got behind me is the very first look at a prototype model from Momo Homes. This has never been seen anywhere before. Nice, we got airplanes, we got buses. What are you gonna do? What we've got here is a 688 square foot, one bedroom, one bathroom home that's panelized. It ships in shipping containers from Panama. They've got 150,000 square foot facility down there and it arrives at site. And to just give you an idea, this one was set up in six days. I'm guessing they had a larger crew than normal to do that because they had to get ready for the show, but that's a pretty quick turnaround. Let's check this thing out. First things first, let's have a look at what they got going on here. The Umbra takes on an L shape with multiple entrances across the front and the model shown was optioned up with double doors into the living room, bedroom and kitchen. Looping around the side of the home, the window on the end is into the bedroom. I like this location for the bedroom because it's got a bit of separation from the main living space, which works well if you're someone like me who likes to go to bed early. Lights out at 9.45. The exterior is finished with a dark vertical siding. Looks to me like a very dark grayish brown. Possibly iron ore or foggy day. Even though Momo Homes has plans listed up to over 2,000 square feet, the Umbra was designed to be their ADU and is available in a studio or the one bedroom, one bathroom we're looking at here today. Down the back side of the home, they've got more windows, batteries to store power generated by the solar panels, and an exterior door. Big important solar deep dive coming up in a couple minutes, stand by. This end of the Umbra is the wall that has the kitchen on the interior, so no windows there, and then it wraps around to the front, and we're back looking at the glass doors. Notice they've got solar panels on both sides of the roof, and I should note that, that this thing was generating enough power that it didn't need to be connected to the convention center's power source. Didn't need it, wouldn't take it. Inside the home, as I mentioned, the kitchen is on the end wall with a layout of fridge, sink, then stove, and both upper and lower cabinets. As far as the living space goes, the kitchen is at the end, dining room in the middle, then the living room before heading into the other sections of the home. The bathroom is a showstopper. Not literally, the show went on, but it has tile floor and tile walls that look incredible. On top of that, it has a walk-in shower, and I'm a sucker for a nice place to comfortably stand and plan out my next meal. Finally, we're heading back out into the hall towards the bedroom, and they had the wall and ceiling left open so people could get a look at the structure. Cold form steel studs, a crowd favorite. I already know people are going to ask, and yes, there is storage in the corner in the form of a closet, and no, I didn't open it. I told myself it wouldn't happen again, but alas... Here we are. Looping back out into the living space, we get another look at the kitchen, but trust me, we're just getting warmed up here. You know what? I'm gonna bring up the floor plan and get a look at this layout because sometimes it's easier to see exactly what's going on in a home by looking at a plan. Looking at the home, it's kind of broken down into sections. One section is the living space with the kitchen, dining room, and living room. The second section is the bathroom and laundry, and the third section is the bedroom. After spending a bit of time in this home, I can confirm it had a good feel. Felt like it had plenty of space for activities, honestly. If you haven't heard of Momo Homes, and I'm assuming most haven't unless you're at the show or have a better source, which is entirely possible, they're a prefab home company expanding into the North American market with a line of homes starting with the Umbra. They have a vision to lead the global transition to sustainable home building and have listed out exactly what they plan to do to do it. Their plan is to achieve company-wide carbon neutrality at a minimum by 2030, transition their supply chain to 100% renewables, prioritize energy efficiency in their home designs, and provision their homes with sustainably produced materials and energy efficient appliances. For the record, it's noted that they aren't there yet, but they're working on it. Good to know. Another noteworthy item on their website is the integration of energy creating features, aka solar panels. It says when you buy a Momo home, you're not just getting a beautiful, enduring place to live, you also become the proprietor of your own power plant. I like the sounds of that. Sounds kind of fun. I could go on and on with information from my own research, but was able to get a couple minutes with the co-founder Charles, and it can be fascinating to hear what's going on from people on the inside. Here's what he had to say. All right, I'm here with Charles, the co-founder and CEO of Momo Homes. We're standing in front of their prototype version. I don't know much about this company yet, so I'm gonna let him take it over. What are we looking at here? Okay, so we're looking at a panelized business model for houses. This is our base model, the ADU. Um, we obviously chose the ADU because it's small, fits in the show, etc., etc. Um, we have a three month lead time into the States but we work with developers to get to over 20 orders, and then that starts getting closer and closer, smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, 
the Pacific Ocean is essentially our warehouse once we start rolling. Um, and we use the just-in-time system of just um, whatever comes into the factory, panelized and goes out, stays in there for no longer than two or three days. On top of that, the footings uh, that we're using are environmentally friendly, uh, put together within, uh, within a day, weather friendly, eco friendly, and often used to uh, secure um, trailer parks, boats, um, warehouses, barns down during a uh, hurricane, typhoon, or any other natural disasters as well. So yeah. I notice we're standing beside a frame CAD flag, I guess. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that means you're building with light gauge steel? Yes, so we use cold light gauge steel, cold fork steel. Um, the reason why we use frame CAD is because of the precision in, uh, in, in what they uh, supply, which allows us to be precise with, with the home. We try and do as much of the work as possible um, so that you can use uh, unskilled labor okay. on site yeah. and, uh, and just plug and play. You mentioned this one was put together in five and a half days. Yeah. What would the standard build be like for something like this? So I like, I've got OCD. I, okay. go about, like, I need things to be perfect, so we suggest three weeks. Yeah. Right? Once you have a team, once a developer has a team that is, you know, done, they've done five homes, this is going to be incredibly quick, absolutely incredibly quick. Um, but three weeks is, is what, is what we're, we're quoting. But yeah, we did this in five and a half days, um, which is fast. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, seriously fast. This is the uh, 688 square foot model. I've been told it's the smallest. What yes. else are you going to be offering? So we offer uh, single family residential homes, um, four bedroom, three bedroom, five bedroom. We offer two story homes. We call it called the Penumbra, which we're um, putting into the uh, Florida market. Okay. Uh, which is really cool. We're looking at townhouses as well. We're very proud of what we've done and what we've created. We think, we think this is, we know this is the future. So we're staying in our lane and, and moving forward. We don't want to get too distracted right. at the moment. So. We're looking to work with partners who want to create with us and allow us to give them the edges you know, that they need. And the edge is time, yeah. the edge is savings, right? And also um, you know, uh, reducing their impact. So I'm gonna go inside. I haven't been in anything but the kitchen yet. Is there anything I should be looking for that you're especially proud of? Um, I'm most proud of, of the layout, even though it's small, right? It's, it has a warmth to it that, that I enjoy. And that's thanks to Erica, our architect. Um, she, her and I aligned immediately when we first got together. Um, I like natural light, you know, I want, I want space, right? And uh, hallway space, but without sacrificing, um, you know, core elements. Okay. You know, like bedroom size and, yeah. uh, and bathroom size. So we have a large bathroom in here, large bedroom or office area. Um, living room is, is smaller, but I think it's the most important thing for this room is, is having a dedicated bedroom, a dedicated yeah. bathroom, right? Yeah. It's like a hotel room. When you right. walk into a hotel room, you want a great bathroom, yeah. you want a great bed, bedroom, yeah. great area. Right. The rest of it is, is what it is. This is the back of the Momo prototype. And the reason I'm here is one, because it's quieter. There are a million people out front, I can barely think. And two, because I want to talk about the solar panels. This house is outfitted with 12 solar panels and they've got two batteries which are located behind me. And right now it is not connected to the grid at all. So they're baking cookies inside, they're gonna be running the AC, all the lights are on and they're actually producing more power than they're using. So if it were connected to the grid, they would be sending it right back in. Send it to my house, I'm overusing. What's interesting about this home is it comes ready for the solar panels and the batteries the solar panels and batteries don't actually come standard with the home, but it does come ready to accept them. So all that would be required to get the same setup as they're running right here is to go out and buy the panels, buy the batteries, and have them installed. Seems like a pretty good system. One of the biggest questions people have whenever talking about solar is, how much cheddar am I going to have to separate with to get this set up on my Momo? I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm here with the resident solar expert at Momo and she gave me the breakdown inside. I thought maybe I could give the overview, but why? She's the expert, <laughs> take it I'm away. I'm sure you did a great job. It was not good. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at half of the solar array on the side. We have 12 total solar panels on this home. It's 4.92 kilowatts of solar, which is more than enough energy for this um, ADU floor plan to run as a net zero or even a net positive home over the course of the year. 
this particular ADU, we're running completely off the grid, which is super exciting. Yeah. Most people probably will connect this back to some sort of power source, but they don't have to. Okay. Um, so we do have two batteries as well from Enphase, they're a partner that we've uh, got a long-standing relationship with and really like working with. Um, and the batteries can output up to 40 amps um, continuous, and they can actually do double that for like a well pump or some sort of other surge load. Okay. So living off grid has some extra complexities that we have to always work into our design, but. What does a setup like this cost? Yeah, so retail, I would say um, battery and solar in this sort of exact setup is gonna be probably in the ballpark of 30 to 35,000. Okay. If you're just going to a solar contractor and saying, hey, I wanna install solar. Yeah. One of the beauties of Momo Homes is that we have amazing relationships with these high-end manufacturers where we're buying direct at a container level qu quantity okay. so we're able to pass on some really amazing economies of scale to Perfect. our um, builder and developer partners yeah. so the same setup from momo is going to be somewhere in the ballpark of 20 to 20 3, Momo is a brand new prefab home company with a line of homes that ship in a container. They're targeting developers who want to improve speed, efficiency, and cost, who also want 20 homes or more. The homes ship out in panels, in shipping containers, and are put together at the job site, a trend I'm seeing more and more lately. I'm excited to watch things unfold as they enter the North American market, so I'll be keeping an eye on what they're up to. Thanks for watching. Bye.